Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And if you watch my vlog <laughs> on a regular basis, if you don't, you should, but if you do, you know I talk a lot about books on my vlog. <laughs> In fact, a lot of people have said, do you have a booktube channel? I'm like, yes, I have a booktube channel <laughs> where I talk about books, but not as much as I talk about it on my vlog. So I've been thinking recently, I should probably not vlog so much on my vlog vlog, <laughs> my vlog vlog vlog, about books, and I should just come over on my booktube channel and start vlogging about my thoughts about books and all this kind of stuff. So. I was driving around today running errands. I went and got my coffee. I did a review video on the Jack Skeleton Nightmare Before Christmas Frappuccino. I'm gonna turn around here in a second because I know that um, the sun is really, really bright and it's hard to see me right now if you're actually watching this and not just listening. So I will turn around and go the other way and then it'll be easier. But I went and, uh, went and <laughs> did a review of, not this, of the Frappuccino, which will be up on my review channel. And then um, I got some coffee, talking on the phone, and I'm getting ready because I am going to San Diego um, in a couple days. So uh, if you have any suggestions for a really great thriller that I absolutely cannot put down that is new, I want it to be a newer thriller. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, I wanna listen to an audio book thriller and I wanna take a physical book thriller because I'm gonna have a lot of time to read. We're going to visit my um, brother-in-law and his girlfriend in San Diego and I'm really, really excited about it. So anyway, I just wanted to get on here and kind of talk about some things, uh, some of which I've been talking about in my vlog but kind of go into more in depth. I am in a total reading slump right now and I don't really know what happened. Um, I was kind of, for a period, I was just like rampantly reading one book after another after another, and um, every book that I was reading was really, really good. And then I just kind of got stuck, and last month, was it last month? We read for the book club the Israel Keys book, and I thought it was fantastic. And then I finished it, and I was like, I don't really know what to start next, and I didn't, didn't want to start the, um, book club book right away, which this month, if you are part of Peter's book club, we are reading My Friend Anna. Um, and I didn't want to start it right away, so I wanted to start something else, and I didn't really know what to start. And so I was, you know, looking through all my books on Audible and looking for books at home and stuff like that, and it was like every book that I started, I just got kind of really bored with. Um, and so... I literally started like three books and I would be like 20 minutes into it on the Audible and I was like, I am just not really into this book. Like, I don't know what to do. So then I was like, okay, well, I will start reading the true crime book for this month, my friend Anna, and I started reading it and I just, I really just couldn't get into it. And a lot of people are saying that they literally read it in a day or two and I just am not having that experience with the book. I don't know. I even watched a lot of interviews. Um, with the woman that wrote the book and it's her, you know, her experience and she narrates the audible, the audio version of it. And I just, I don't know, like I'm just not super interested in the story. And I'm hoping that like, cause I think that that is going to be the book. If nobody else suggests something that I have to read. Um, I think that is going to be the book that I listen to while I'm on vacation. But I find myself just sitting on Audible and looking at book suggestions and all of the books that are up. And I'm like, I don't really know what to listen to. And then I said I was going to have um, Helter Skelter by Vincent Bugliosi about the Manson murders. I was going to have that done by September 1st. And I'm way behind in that book. I listen to it for a little bit and I really like it for a day or two. And then I get really bored of it again. And I can only do it like a little bit at a time. I don't know why, but I will be finishing that book before the end of the year. When I finish it, I'm gonna do a live stream discussion about it. Um, I just, like there's nothing that I can read that I'm like really that into, you know? And um, what was I talking about? So I was talking to Mel, who is um, the co-host of the book club. And her bookstagram is Ginger Gonzo Read. So you can go check her out. I, she's listed below. She has a bookstagram account. We were talking about some book. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I had just finished Riley Sager's um, Lock Every Door. And that, oh, that was the book that really got me into the reading slump. Because... It literally took me a month to listen to this book on audio, on Audible, and um, 
I don't know what it is. The book was really good at the end. Like, the last third of it was really good. And I thought that the, pr the premise and the idea was really good. But I went into it thinking that it was going to be this extremely scary book the whole way through. That I, like, literally wasn't going to be put be able to put it down. And, you know, it was very similar to how I felt about Final Girls. Like, I thought Final Girls by Riley Sager. Am I completely in the dark right now? Well, it doesn't really matter unless you were probably listening to this anyway. Um, I went into Final Girls by Riley Sager thinking that it was going to be this just incredible book from beginning to end and I felt very similar to to Final Girls as I did to uh, Lock Every Door. I just, I felt like it was kind of, it fell flat a little bit, the first two thirds of the book and then I thought the last third was really, really good. And so when I was talking to Mel, I said to her, do you think we expect too much from books? Like, you know, that, that we're going to go into it and literally from beginning to end, we're not going to be able to put it down. Like, I don't know. I think maybe I have pretty high expectations for books these days. And I think that every book that I'm going to pick up is just going to be this blockbuster that I just cannot put down from beginning to end. And the reality is that I think that, you know, most writers that are good with their, at their craft, you know, build up the climax of the story. And if it was really that exciting from beginning to end, then it, it, where would the climax of the book be? Where would the action of the book be? Where would the surprise be? So it has to be kind of, there has to be some lull, some building of the story, some building of the characters as we go through it. But at the same time, I have like really high expectations for books now, I think. You know that, and, and you know, the other thing is, is that this year I have been blessed in reading so many fantastic books that I read a book and I literally put it down and I'm like, oh my God, this book was so good. Like, I just really, really loved it. That, you know, now, like, I don't want to pick up a book unless it's fantastic. I was talking to my friend Tanya about this, my, my good Judy Tanya Jean, because she reads a lot too, but we read different things. And, you know, she was like, I just want to find a book that I can't stop reading. Like, I, ha I can't put it down. You know, it's so good. And I said, me too. Like, I want a book that I literally can't put down. And I'm not finding that. Like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm so sad about it because I'm really excited to, you know, read some really new books, but I'm like in this reading slump. And then what happens is I don't want to do 15 book tags in a row. So I'm not filming videos because I'm not doing reviews. I'm not talking about books on there. And it's sad to me because I want to be posting on BookTube because I love BookTube. But when I'm not really motivated to be reading, it's not even that... I'm not motivated to be reading. Like, I think maybe when we talk about reading slumps, for me, maybe reading slump is not the greatest word. I think it's when I go through a lull of boring books. When I'm reading books that I'm just not super excited about reading. And that's what happened with Lock Every Door. Like, I got into it and I just was like, is anything going to happen in this book? Like, I'm, it's kind of predictable, and I'm kind of bored with it. And I will say, like, if you're going to read it, like, the end of it is totally worth it. Like, the last third of the book makes it worth reading the whole book. And I thought, you know, it was... I thought it was good. I thought it was interesting at the end. Like, when I was done with it, I was like, I'm glad I went, read this book. Like, it was good. But, you know, um, and talking about thrillers, because I love to read thrillers, and I know not everybody loved this book, but... <clears throat> Last year, I think it was for Spookathon, I read, um, what's the book called? Uh, the Cabin at the End of the World, I think, by Paul Tremblay. And, like, that book for me was, like, a book that I could not put down. Like, I wanted to continue to know what happened. The pacing of the book was fantastic. The characters were interesting to me. I had no idea where the book was going. I couldn't figure it out. It was very interesting to me. I loved that book. The Blake Crouch books, Recursion, was fantastic this year. Dark Matter was fantastic. I ended up reading, um the Pine series, and even though I had watched the TV show, the book series was great to me because I didn't know how it ended, and um, it was a little bit different than the TV show series, you know? And then many of the true crime books that I've read this year, you know, like the Israel Keys book was great. The John Wayne Gacy book was great. There's been, you know, Stranger Beside Me by Ann Rule was fantastic. There's been so many true crime books that I've read that I'm just like, I can't put this down. Like, I just, you know, want to be in my car driving and listening to my audiobook, or I want to be, you know, sitting on the front porch and reading or whatever. And, um, 
what was the book by Becky Albertalli and Al Adam Silvera? What if it's that? Uh, what if it's us? I thought was fantastic. You know, as a young adult book, and I really enjoyed reading that. And I don't really read as much young adult as I used to. Um, but I just need something that I cannot put down. You know, back in the day. When I was going through reading slumps, I would read like, um, what do you call it? Uh, like I would go, like get a Dan Brown book and I would read a Dan Brown book or I would read um, Michael Crichton because you know there were Michael Crichton books still out there that I hadn't read yet. And I think there's only two and I'm not super interested in reading the two that are out there. So I don't really have a go-to author that I read if I'm like in a reading slump anymore. A lot of people have asked about the supermarket reads and if I'm going to continue to do them. I do want to continue to do them. The problem was is I got so behind in the books that I w said I was going to read for the supermarket reads. And when I would start them, um, I would get like literally 50 pages into it and it was the same thing. I just was like, I'm not excited about reading this and I'm not in a position in my life anymore where I'm going to read something I don't want to read. You know what I mean? Like I'm just going to... DNF it. And that's what happened was I started reading these books and I was just like, I'm not interested in reading these books. I don't know. Does this happen to you guys ever where you get these books and you're super excited about reading them, but once you get them, you're just like, I just can't do this. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm just not super excited about this book. So it's sad to me because, you know, and like on Audible right now, because I always use my credits and often if there's a sale or something, you know, I'll buy extra credits or, um, well, with sales, I don't because they're, you know, half price or whatever, $2 books, they do a lot. But if I see something come up that I want to read at the time, I'll buy it. You know, like another one is that everybody's told me to read, like I'm really into thrillers right now. Like I really want to read good thrillers, right? But everybody's told me to read um, uh, Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens, I think is who it's by. And, um, I mean, I've had so many people tell me to read that. Well, I've had it on my Audible library. I've had it in my Audible library for over six months now, you know, and I haven't read it. I have so many books in my Audible that I haven't read, and I'm just like, I don't know which one to read next. I read Angie Thomas's, um, you know, uh, The Hate You Give and absolutely loved it. And then I started on the come up and I, th I think it's interesting. I think it's well written, but it's not really what I want to be reading right now. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how, if you guys are the same, but like, okay, going into October, I really only want to read scary books in October. I only want to read, um, really scary things. And then, you know, the other thing is I said I was going to finish the Harry Potter books. Hell, I said I was going to finish them last year and here we are and it's going into October and I still have three of them, three or four of them to, I think I have three to read left. And so it's like, I haven't finished those yet either, but they're so long on Audible, you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Help. I need some good books to read. I need a book I literally cannot put down. So if any of you have, you know, suggestions out there, please let me know. I'm totally open to any of it. I just want to be reading something. I want, I like the escape of reading a book. I think most people do if you're watching this channel. And, you know, I want to read something that I'm just like so intrigued by the characters and all this kind of stuff. And, um, you know, there's only several authors that I feel like I just can't wait till their next book comes out. Now, I did talk about this on my vlog the other night. Lee Bardugo has a new book coming out, I think, on October 1st. And it's an, it's, uh, an adult book, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and Aaron Morgenstern has a new book coming out. And I love The Night Circus, but I didn't love it so much that I can't wait for the next book to come out, but it's supposed to be fantastic. Um, and then there's another book coming out. So I'm kind of excited about those. John Grisham has a new book coming out. Um, and so I'm excited to see what happens with that book, you know. But I've got 50 books in my Audible. And I don't know where to go. Like, I don't know which one to read. I should probably pull in here and have you guys help me. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull into the parking lot at Half Price Books. And I'm going to go through my Audible. And you guys can be like, okay, Peter, this is what you should listen to next. And the other thing is I bought so many stupid books on sale that I have all of these books that now I'm not even sure I even want to read. I actually haven't been to Half Price Books. I haven't bought a book in a bookstore. I don't know when the last time was. 
I guess I could go into half price books. I kind of miss being in bookstores, you know? Okay. Have I been in the dark the whole time? But then if I go into the bookstore, I'll end up buying something that I probably won't end up reading. Put in the comment section below if you relate to this at all. So I have my friend Anna. I ended up buying Void Moon by Michael Connolly that I was going to read for the supermarket reads. I ended up buying it on um, Audible because I haven't listened to it on Audible. Oh wait, let me get into the unfinished books. Helter Skelter, Deep Shadow, the deep series. Evidence of the Affair by Taylor Jenkins Reid, One Year After, Rotten Ruin, Saw Kill Girls, The Shadows We Hide, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Some of these books I bought, I have no interest in reading that right now. Vicious by B.E. Schwab. I kind of do want to listen to that. I got that on sale. Um, these books were supposedly, the next three are supposedly like uh, Stranger Things. The Boys of Summer, The Chain, and Gone, Gone series. Then my friend recommended to me the, the Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchinson. Disappearance at Devil's Rock by Paul Tremblay. Infinite by Jeremy Robinson. It's a Long Story by Willie Nelson. The Gone Dead. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Like, Alice Oseman is somebody that I've heard so many good things about. But every time I start listening to it, I'm just like... I don't know. Um, the Music of What Happens by Bill Conisberg. Truth and Lies by Carolyn Mitchell. These are all half. These were all sale books. The Wild Heart of Stevie Nicks. Mystery of Alice. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Because I loved um, what's it called? The Evelyn book. The Lady from the Black Lagoon. White Trash Zombie Apocalypse, which is a series. The Past and Other Things by Sean David Hutchinson. The Cadaver King by um, Radley Balco. I heard that was really good. Um, An American Marriage. A Dirty Job by Christopher Moore. Make Your Bed. I have that book at home, actually. Man Search for Meaning. Replay. That's one of my all-time favorite books. Slaughterhouse Five. The Troop by Nick Cutter. What She Knew by Gilly McMillan. A Man Called Ove. I've, I mean, some of these books, I've had it here forever, you guys. Dear Evan Hansen. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. That's the next Harry Potter book I have to read. Bluff. Then She Was Gone. The Last Days of August. A Harry Clark. Never heard of. Only Human by Sylv Sylvain Nouvelle. So that is the third book in the Sleeping Giant series. But the second one was so bad, I just really don't want to listen to it. Reason to Believe of Blood and Bone by Nora Roberts. It's the second one in her series. And I really like the first one. Uh, Walk to Run One Mile. <laughs> You Better Not Cry, I'm Saving That for Christmas. It's by Augustin Burroughs. Patty Smith, Nine Perfect Strangers by Liam O'Garrity. Now, I've heard really mixed reviews about that, but it's six out, 16 hours. And I'm like, okay, even if I listen to that two times speed, it's eight. The Crooked Staircase by Dean Koontz. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. The Ladies' Guide to Petticoats and Pirates. Simple Favor, We Sold Our Souls by Grady uh, Hendricks. The X-Files, The House of Impossible Beauties, I heard was fantastic, but it's 15 hours. A Girls' Night Out. <sighs> Mel told me to get this book. I got it, and she said it was horrible. Trail of Lightning, Shark Man, Before the Fall, The Deep Dark Descending, The Last Days of Jack Sparks, The Last Time I Lied, Love and Gelato, November 9 by Colleen Hoover, Orange is the New Black, which I just finished that series, so now I have no desire to read the book. Um, Meg, about the shark, The Last Mrs. Parish, which Tanya told me to read, When the Bow Breaks by Jonathan Kellerman. It's the first part of his series. In Search of Us by Ava Delaria, which her book... Um, Love Letters to the Dead was one of my all-time favorite books that I have ever read, and this is her second one. Fantastic Land, Kids of, Kids of Appetite by David Arnold. And Mosquito Land was his first one, and I loved it. Kill Creek, Noah's Song, The Serpent King, We Now Return to Regular Life, West Cork, Renegades, Crazy Rich Asians, The Shadow of the Wind, Grist Mill, um, Red... Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I've heard a lot of good things about. But you guys, these are all the books that I already own in my Audible and I have not read. The Member of the Wedding, Station Eleven, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, The Shining by Stephen King, um, How to Murder Your Life by Kat Marnell, Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo because I haven't listened to the second part of the Six of Crows uh, duology, The Most Dangerous Place on Earth, The Nicks, The Forgetting, Scarlet by The Lunar Chronicles, 14, Crossing Borders, Don't You Cry, Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore, The Nest, Where'd You Go, Bernadette, Wonders of the Invisible World, A Court of Thorn and Roses, A Little Life, A Long Way Home, A Little Life by Hania Yanagahara. I heard like three years ago it was good and I bought it on here, but it's uh, 32 hours long. A Long Way Home, You Are a Badass, Brain on Fire, um, In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. I think you guys know how I feel about her. The Bone House, 
No Coming Back, Gone South, uh, by Robert McGammon, who I love, Dorothy Must Die, I've never read that series, Mrs. Queen Takes the Train, Tweak, by Nick Sheff, because I read Beautiful Boy, The Elegance of the Hedgehog, The First 15 Lives, okay, I don't even know, uh, Harry August, uh, Me Talk Pretty One Day, by David Sedaris, Where They Found Her, The Girl With All the Gifts, Fatal Shadows, Star Island, and Wicked Girls. Those are all the books, you guys, I have on my Audible that I have not read. Can you even imagine? I don't even know where to start with that, and I read those so fast. You guys are like, wah! So if you have any suggestions out of all of those books, if you heard any book in there that was like, okay, you have to read this book, can you please let me know in the comment section below, and I will read that book, because I need a book that I can't put down. So if any of those books that you heard me say is like a must read, put it in the comment section below. Um, I'm gonna do more vlogs. Uh, I'm going on vacation this week, so I think I'm gonna do some vacation vlogs about books while I'm in, San we're going to San Diego. So, if I can find a bookstore there, I will show a San Diego bookstore. If you guys have recommendations about a San Diego bookstore, let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, and um, I think I like going to Half Price Books for a second. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.